All right, guys, vapes and games here once again. And just before we get started in today's video, I really need to do a big shout out and thank you to all the positive response we got on the last video, which is my first ever time playing Warframe. It was just a punt in the dark, uh, something that I just fancied trying. And the response and the feedback to that video has been truly astounding and immense. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. Uh, he's also put this video on a bit of a pedestal. And uh, <laughs> I'm praying that this one is uh, even half as good. Um, <laughs> we're going to try our best. I'm not entirely sure. But the first thing I did was I came on. And I was listening to some of the comments. And I've now learned how to do sort of the slidey jump thing. And I promised I won't kill any more rabbits. But without further ado, we're going to get into this now. And we're going to play my, well, my first proper day, really. Or my second day. Whichever way you want to look at it. We're going to go in and we're going to have a little bit of a play about. And delve a little bit deeper into this game. Now... Some of you have said that there is more of the tutorial um, to unlock. Oh, yeah, and before I forget, for anyone that hasn't played this game before and you're following along with the series, I did, when the game started today, get a login bonus. I don't know if that matters, but I, nevertheless, I wanted to let you know that. So we got this crazy sort of yellow brick road thing going on here, and then you zoom out and go... What the? Do you know what I mean? It's like... This is good. Right? That's great. That's like what most games have. And then you're like, boom. Mental, mate. Mental. Mental, mental. So let's just have a little bit of a look. So, we did... Is this now locked off permanently? Or if what do you... Where did we start, actually? Did we start on Mars? I don't actually remember. I think we did start on Earth, though, right? Yeah, we must have done. We must have started on Earth. Anyway, regardless, we do have... Um, I'm just trying to remember. Just bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. So, did we start here? We must have started on this node here, right? E prime. So it's got Grenier 1 to 3, open squads 10. Great information. No idea what that means. But I'm sure it's very important. So this one is Vos Prize Liberate Imprisoned Arms Dealers. Grenier 1 to 3. We can also change our loadout. Cannot change loadout. Only one loadout available. So I lied to you. <laughs> we can't change the loadout. But that's okay. We don't need it. We don't need it, guys. We're, we're just... We're that good. We're the best space ninja that's ever lived. So we are going to log in here or select the mission. Now, it does look down, like with the countdown that it's sort of a server-based system. So I'm wondering if anyone can let me know in the comments. Um, Is this... Oh, my God. This is a bit like uh, Destiny. Um, is it cooperative? Can I, can I play with friends on this? I'm not sure. Uh, let me know about that. Because uh, I may get my friend on one of these videos. Uh, and he may, I may drag him along for the ride. He's a noob just like the me. The arms dealer is named Darbo. He's being held in the prison block on the other side of this factory complex. Like, this game ticks so many fantasies for my sci-fi addiction. Now, I'm talking like sort of Chronicles of Riddick stuff, Alien How stuff, Xenomorphs. Um, I, I don't know. It just covers so many things, man. It's got like Gears of War elements to it. So we are pulling this tram across here. I wonder if there's any secrets on this. We double jump on this? The oh, I don't know, actually. Can we, can we get on that? Is working. This guy looks well Breaking evil, doesn't he? I wow. The shadows of your mind. The one thing I didn't Don't notice. Hold on. Focus on the mission. 
It's our only hope of figuring out this link with him. The one thing I didn't figure out in the last um, episode, I think I figured it out, is that the top right, I don't know if it's health and shield or the two types of ammo, which is your range. I think it's health and shield, actually. I did think it was um, sort of uh, sword energy and gun energy. Uh, but I'm clearly mistaken. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm just looking across this world and I'm like, holy fuck. Like, wow. It's so beautiful, man. So, yeah, I hope this video lives up to everyone's expectations. The community has been very welcoming. Um, and I certainly hope that I can uh, actually, you know, deliver with this content because I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to try my best anyway. So we're going to do this wicked a jump. Uh, let's have, oh, what's this? Do we have to hit these? There's no action button, right? Oh, what's that? I mean, just look at that. That's a health orb. That's like some Unreal Tournament 3D shit right there. Wow. I mean, I'm sure you've been playing this game for years. Like, this sort of shit don't even matter to you. Like, it's probably... It's probably not even interesting, but to me, it's like, holy moly. It's absolutely sick, man. We've even had foreign people from, like, Portugal, Spain, um, some other Eastern European countries. Um, we've had a few Spanish people and even a few Koreans watch this video with automated subtitles. Which is absolutely blowing my mind. Like, modern technology, guys. Like, what's all that about? I am a new YouTuber. I've done a couple of channels in the past, a few unboxing videos and stuff like that. Never took it seriously. And I was a streamer on Twitch, just to give you a bit of background. And what I decided to do was ditch Twitch. The community wasn't working for me. No offense to anyone that streams on there. Good luck to you, if that's what you enjoy to do. It's not for me. Uh, I was streaming there a long time. And I just felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more worthwhile, a little bit more creative. Um, something more in the vein of me, where I wasn't sort of at the limbo. Well, this is going to sound uh, quite funny, actually. At the limbo and the mercy of what uh, I had to play was dictated a lot by the community. I didn't really have much choice in the matter as soon as I changed games from sort of League of Legends and World of Warcraft, people weren't happy. It was causing arguments. Uh, all sorts. Of, I mean, I'll do a video on it one day. But essentially, long story short, I want to move over to YouTube. I've tried it out. I've only been doing this about two weeks. And the feedback has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's given me a new lease of life. It's uh, made me... Uh, like, want to create again, want to do stuff with the communities and different games that are out there. And it's also opened my eyes to new stuff um, and made my outlook on gaming a little bit more positive. So, thank you to the community on YouTube. You're a, you're a great bunch of people. And uh, especially thank you to the Warframe community, which has blown my goddamn mind. I don't think people would know you exist if it weren't for this video. I didn't even know there was this... Uh, this sort of fashion and level of uh, community knocking about for, for a game anymore. Like, you know, it's the stuff of legends. I haven't felt this sort of community-driven stuff since WoW Classic and sort of like StarCraft 2 and stuff like that. Uh, which, you know, two, two great games that I used to play a hell of a lot of. How do I get up there? We're going to slide. Boom, boom. And we're going to do our ability. Wow. That could hit multiple targets as well. The combat's so buttery smooth in this. So, I am just wandering around here. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. But don't be too hard on me. Uh, 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 there we go. Easy. They're a bit finicky, those. I didn't realise at first that you can open and close the switches. And, uh, yeah. Took me a little bit. We've got ferrite depot depots, or whatever you call them. Depot depots. Um, 
I don't know if there's any crafting in the game. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully. If anyone's curious, I'm playing this on PlayStation. I do have a very high-end gaming PC. Well, not high-end, but it was at the time when uh, I last updated it. It's the 3070 Ti, uh, an i7 12700K, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and, uh, and a 2 terabyte M.2 uh, with a 12 terabyte backup drive. But my YouTube, it's okay. It plays games pretty reasonably well at 45p. Uh, and it probably run this game maxed out but I do like to play on my PlayStation it's a little bit simpler you just build the games and away we go very simple one thing I've noticed is I'm not even paying attention to the map I'm just wandering around here like a crazy space ninja let's uh I love that jump what the hell point point so yeah, somebody in the comments told me how to do this. I'm well impressed with myself. Probably like a standard thing, but I thought it was pretty cool. So we're going to move towards this marker here. Now, obviously, these enemies are probably pretty, pretty easy. I mean, in that room, there's probably the first pack. Oh, what's this? Is this a secret? Is this a secret? We found a secret? Oh. A rubido, ru, rubido formation. Don't know what any of this stuff is, but we'll take it. Okay. Thought it's worthwhile rooting around and farming all this stuff, but uh, we'll certainly find out in the grand scheme of things. Go back on track here. And the blocking, look, blocking bullets, guys. Mega. Oh, we missed that one. This is the prison block. If you can avoid detection by the warden, it may be easier to get Darbo out. I mean, look at the character models, man. The security so we can enter. I mean, I know it's an alien, and I don't know. It just looks kind of amazing. So there was something I did want to ask the community. I don't know if anyone can help me out with this. Under options, there is. Um, there is something that I come across when I find it. Um, I've now lost because I'm terrible at this type of thing. Let's have a look. So there was something about um, camera track. There we go. Camera tracks melee target. Uh, this was disabled. I did enable it. I presumed it would be something that would be uh, a line attacks the camera. Sorry, that was it. Uh, I, that was disabled by default. Now, I don't know if that's a good feature or a bad feature. I just turned it on uh, under the assumption that it, it is something that, that I should have on. It sounded like something I should have on. But I'm probably wrong, right? I don't know. Uh, I just wondered about that setting. I didn't have time to Google it. I've been terribly busy. Um, so I just enabled it. And I hope that... So we can double jump layers as well there. Uh, so we don't take fall damage. We've got another box here. Got more credits. No idea what the credits do. Chopping him up. Chop suet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and I forgot we can do this. Uh, that matrix jump. Jesus, man, it's so good. Like, point. You've been spotted. Get ready for a fight. You've been spotted. Uh oh. Oh shit. Stop it. <laughs> you know, we're here. So, let's uh, open this. I keep looking for an action button uh, to press for the boxes, which is kind of silly, really. What the hell is this? Can we get in this? What the hell? Are you kidding me? Stack turrets and shit. Oh my god. A little bit slow though. Maybe I need to up my sensitivity. Oh well. Let's uh, crack on and move forward. I'm still terrible at those. I do apologise. Let's go. Easy. Alright, let's have a look here. What's this? Are we saving other tenors here? 
get my what the hell is that? Damn oh. He's a good looking chap. Remember, your success here depends on getting Darvo out of there alive. Oh shit. Right, come on, Darvo. Come with me, bro. Oh, not this way. We're not going this way. Come on. This way, Dav. Come on. Go, mate. The Lotus must be desperate to send you fetching greedy fools from the corpse. Go. So, obviously, this is not too difficult, but we're, we're in the very... Oh, shit. I say, I say that, and then this happens. Well, let's go. Oh, shit. Where's Davo? Oh, we left him. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, we better take these out quick before they kill him. Chop Sui. Let's go. Too easy. Too easy. Where's Davo at? Oh, I thought I killed Davo then. That would have been a bit awkward, right? <laughs> oh, nice. Little secret here. So there are like a lot of hidden little uh, freaks on the levels as well, which is quite good. Let's go. Oh my god, that was sick. So I think we've only got the one ability at the moment, I think. Oh no, what's this? We've also got this. I don't know what that that was. It seems pretty badass though. Oh shit. We can deflect bullets with our sword. Uh, right, come on, Dav. Let's go, mate. Gotta get you out of here, bro. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we can slide me there as well. Beautiful. Have we left him behind? Where is he? Oh, he's here. Point. Oh my god, we can go into that, that crazy gun dash from that. So we can slide, jump, and then like... To the combat, there's a lot of uh, freeform stuff that you can actually do. I'll oh, just jump to him arm. Let's go. Uh, Alright, where are we getting shot from now? A little sneaky. Let's go. Just so far, I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, what's going on? I'm going to assume this is the main bad guy. What's he doing to my shield? Is he, is he breaking my shield? Control your shield. We must figure out how to remove it. Avoid taking damage while I try and block him. Okay. So this is kind of making the difficulty a little bit harder. Oh, we're alright, we're alright. We got this. We got this. Oh shit. Oh, I don't know what I just did then. Is this the auto block bullets? I think it does if you face in the direction, right? But apart from that, you can get shot in the back, but if you're actually camera faced onwards. Right, okay, okay. Makes sense. We check that out. Organ shatter. We just did something good there, I think. Oh no. Just try doing a cool slide of I'm trying to style on these enemies a little bit for you, boy. I'm kinda of messing it up. I'm not too used to the uh, controls at the moment. Get this up. Let's take this deposit. So which way is it now? We're back at the ship, right? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. I should have jumped off the level. Here we go. Mission complete. So Excalibur. Rank 6. Lato or Leto. Rank 8. Exalted Blade. Rank 9. Bratton. Rank 8. Scarner. 
Oskina. Rank 8. So it looks like everything levels up individually. 36 crates opened. Um, okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. I see the operator can enable the mod segment now. Oh, Ortis okay. Would be delighted to show you how to upgrade your arsenal. May I recommend fire? Fire? Mods. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's see what this is all about. Interesting. Operator, I've linked the mod segment to your arsenal now. No need to thank me. Uh, upgrade your Warframe now. Go to the arsenal to see the weapon upgrade options you have. Okay, let's have a look here. Interesting, we're already getting sort of more little advanced features already. All right, we've got tap. Forgot that. So, patiently awaits compliance in using the new arsenal features. It is for the operator's own good. Okay, so we're going to try and upgrade our rifle here first. Isn't it beautiful, operator? The complex web of variables and synergies. Oh, the possibilities are endless. Ordis realizes. Modding may seem a tad overwhelming, but everything will soon make sense. We just pop this in here. Before we can continue. Ooh, nice. Right, so these are like... Are they, uh, well, these like... Uh, instead of picking up items of different rarities, you get these cards, do you? And you build your mod system. And you build out configs. Am I, am I right in thinking that? I think I am. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. That's pretty dope, though. Thanks for helping me out back there. Oh, Davo, you're welcome. Debt, and I often pay my debts. I okay. recognize that device. It's a parasitic restraint. We corpus use something similar to keep our robotics in line. So, to settle my debt, I give you a very expensive blueprint. For free! Because I like you. <laughs> and I like you too. A lot of my customers don't live long with these grenade dogs chewing up the system. Here, use your foundry to build a countermeasure device from this blueprint. Good luck. So is he referring to um Scaris is burrowing into oh, your warframe? I'm worried it will affect your mind. I can't lose you, Tenno. We must restore the ship's foundry immediately. So are they referring to this thing that's on my arm? Colony will have the foundry technology you need. I am certain they will share it with you. Its location has been added to your navigation console. Okay. Let's just try and uh, mod our bled before we go in. Um, no parents. Oh, there's cosmetics as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at these. Holy shit. Don't pass ones there, right? How much are these going to cost me, though? Oh, we already have... I don't have some of the currency. Uh -huh. Will not be shared on PC. Ten or gem purchased on PC will not share with consoles. That's probably to stop people getting the cheaper um, sort of currency on PC when the sales are on, like uh, somebody said in the comments. Um, we can change the colours and everything. Oh my god. Can't look at that yet. The hell is that? So much to take in right now. Uh, so we're going to try and upgrade our uh, Scano, is it? Uh, yeah. So we've got 20% uh, melee damage. And whatever this is, uh, this is 15% critical damage that we've unlocked. So we'll take that. We'll also see, can we upgrade our suit? Oh my god, look at these! 5% ability duration, 9% shield capacity, sounds like a no-brainer that one. 5% ability strength. 9% health. We might as well just stick them all in, right? The only reason... Oh. We only have one of these. It's looking like we're maxed out here. Can we only have three at the moment or something? 
Yeah, it's looking like we ain't got the capacity for it. No worries, man. No worries. We don't mind that. That's fine. Uh, 8% reload speed. Yeah, we'll take that. That'd be nice with my rifle, actually. And toxin rounds. Oh, no. We can't put any more in it. I don't know what dictates the capacity. 2, 6. Uh, oh, hold on. So, should let me check something here. So, it should tell you this, really. But I'm going to guess we have 8 capacity. And this takes up 6. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that makes sense. A very interesting mechanic. Very poorly explained. But nevertheless, one sussed out. A great mechanic. Um, and it amazes me to this day, games that I do love, like Diablo 4, Destiny and stuff like that, I still get shit like this wrong. I know they can't even make fundamental, meaningful upgrade choices that, that you read and go... Oh, this is exciting. That sounds really good, you know? So we're going to do... Um, let's see how long we got. we got. we got some time yet. Don't want to make these videos too long. Um, when I'm first starting out, obviously there's a lot to take in and digest in this. So we're going to go on to our third mission, where we locate the foundry segment. Uh, grid A, one, two, three. So I'm presuming that's the difficulty yet again. Some of these things could do with a little bit more explaining. Tenno, um, we may have a problem. The colony is unresponsive. I may at the developers the and, uh, and see what's going on. Give a few suggestions from a new player perspective. Because they're very simple fixes. Um, identifying that that's, uh, you know, that, that y each weapon has a power allotment. And then they they like build the power and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure there's easier ways here, of doing it. And I cannot find any signs of living colonists. You still have a job to do. Find the foundry segment. But I did play this game years and years and years ago, and I um, I can't remember why I didn't continue. Um, I got kind of a little bit sidetracked or something. And I, long story short, anyway, um, I played for a little bit. And I left it alone, but the game was a lot darker, uh, a lot more sort of organic. Uh, it it, it wasn't was like this. This feels a lot more developed, and uh, oh, what's this? A lot more developed and well made. It's obviously probably about ten years later, though. So it's understandable that they've come a long way with the title. I'm very impressed with it. I've got to be honest. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, so the gun's already feeling a hell of a lot better. You can actually feel the tangible difference with the weaponry. Oh, shit. Sneaky little bugger. You can reset alarms as well. Interesting. So the enemies can set off alarms. Probably a little bit like Metal Gear Solid. Uh, let's see what this does. Ooh, boom. Is there anything in here that we need? What's this? Open storage locker. Okay, so we've got some credits there. Well, Jump forward here. Oh, he went to ambush me, were he? Cheeky bugger. So we'll head towards our objective. What the hell just happened? So I double tapped. I don't even know what I did there. So, oh, so you can press both together. I just go straight into a... Oh, interesting. Can we attack out of this? Oh, it does damage as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, 
I don't remember there being guns in the original either. I'm pretty sure it was just like melee weapons back when I played it. Keep moving forward here. Um, the traversal's very, very good. Can we get through it? Um, oh, I think we've gone the wrong way here. Hold up. We can open these, though, can't we? Yeah. So I'm just wondering if the paired currency is lootable in this game. It looks like... Oh, shit. This guy got a shotgun? What the fuck? Out of my French. Out of my French, I apologize. He had a shotgun, right? Oh, my God. Well, either this is a moving target or my sense of direction is horrifically bad. I'm going to go with the latter. That is my fault. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it will be. Oh, shit. I don't even know where we're going here. What the hell? Oh, can we get on this? What the hell? Oh, my God. This is sick. We are, like, literally at a Space Ninja right now. I mean, the Space Ninja fantasy is captured. So I'm wondering, although I didn't want to find out, if we can actually deflect um, shotgun shots. So, I think they still do damage when we deflect them. I think it's just reduced, maybe. Now, I don't know if there are sort of ranged and melee builds in this game. Oh, my God. Back off. Back. I don't know if there are ranged and melee builds or it's sort of a hybridization type system or the ranged characters. But I do generally like playing the ranged characters in games. Uh, like Hunters and whatnot. So, we'll have to wait and see about that. But for a start character, this guy is pretty cool. Oh. I don't even know if we should be resetting these alarms. I don't know if it disables them permanently. Or just it's just a reset of the alarms going off. I also wonder, does this game have PvP? That is going to be uh, very interesting to find out. I think PvP in a game like this could be absolutely immense. If done correctly. Um... Okay. Your ship is one step closer to completion. So now, we're kind of building out our main base station here by the looks of it. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. Let's go. Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. Let's have a look. I will purge your doting mother and bring what the hell? So we have got we have got some new abilities here. I don't actually know what they do. We've not really been shown. We'll have to figure it out, I suppose, as we go. Okay. Oh, what's all this? Might as well open all these, right? Get the goodies. So. Oh, where are you going, sub? Oh, what's going on? I don't have a gun anymore. I mean, some sort of combat mode? Oh my god, what have I done? Oh shit. My gun's gone. Why has my gun disappeared? Oh no. We're in pure like... What did I do? Don't even know what I've done, guys. Um, have I run out of ammo or something? Oh dear. Uh, need more energy. Need more energy. Need more energy. I don't know what we've done there. Um, oh, that's a little bit embarrassing. Looks well, like we're slapping our way through for now.
So I think this might answer the question whether there's actually dedicated melee builds or not. It's kind of looking like we're forced into it. I'm just trying to figure out what I've actually done here. <laughs> I messed it up. It looks like we're on a bit of a rampage here for this mission. Splicing and dicing, baby. Oh, oh, they're on the radar behind me. That's good. It shows them on the map behind you. That's pretty cool. We've done 19 out of 30. I have no idea what I've just done there. Just activated something with that one. Uh, okay, let's go. Meow. Get here. Got him. Let's go. Go, oh, you fucker! I believe you fucking pulled the alarm. Man, you do need to kill a few more, so it's probably done as a favour, to be fair. Get here. Where are you all going? Get here. Oh, shit! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Oh, no, let's get our gun back out. Oh my god, you see that? Oh, what a what a sick fucking feature. Map overlays. Nice. Something the Diablo can't, can't do. A simple map overlay. We got it here, boys. Never fear the map overlays here. So we can kind of. Oh, and it's a rotating one as well, my favourite kind. Let's go. So, kind of gonna. Have I gone the wrong way again? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down, calm down. Boink. Like the animations and the movements, so goddamn smooth. Oh, here we go. Another job well executed. Another job well executed. 49 kills. I'm just a god. Just a god amongst men. <laughs> we got some new cards, some new unlocks. Quite a bit to take in, actually. Your foundry segment is ready for installation, operator. Will the operator build a cephalon to replace me? What? <laughs> Sounds like he's bugging out there a little bit. So we're going to install segment. So I'm presuming for the for the beginning of the game, we're just going to rebuild the ship and kind of get all our systems online one by one. Um, I'm just wondering if we remove this little thing on my arm. That just looks a bit weird and out of place, doesn't it? Foundry restored. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me. To expand your arsenal. Okay. Operator, so our component storage has been looted as well. Oh, Take hyper convenient. Sure, We've had all of our, free, but our components, components robbed. Well, operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. Need to fix the security system first, you know. What the hell? Fix the security system. Terno, I just received a very explicit message from your ship, Sevlon. If you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? Oh, my days. I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. His mother's no gymnast. What is going on? You can go straight to... Uh, operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Sevlon, when you can afford it. The Morphic. Uh, that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with a place I know. It's good for resources. If you can stand the cold. Right, so this is going to teach us about the value of farming, I presume. But we're going to call sort of 
this episode, this video here. I don't want to make them too long. Uh, very interesting, though. So we've learned a little bit about upgrades uh, and a little bit about the quest progression. And now we're sort of moving on into new areas. And if you have enjoyed today's content, make sure you subscribe and ring that post notification bell. So you know exactly when my next episode is going to go live. And I hope you've enjoyed today's content. I hope it's lived up to uh, sort of the hype and stuff that the first video generated. I'm a little bit worried about that it won't do. But nonetheless, here it is. And, you know, I kept my I kept my end of the bargain, you know. Here's episode two for you and a little bit more Warframe. So with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>